Is she stunned? I don't know. I'm gonna go down here. She's not. Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Devour. The new map is now officially out. You saw me yesterday or uh, a few days ago play this map on the beta. Uh, but now it's officially out, which it shouldn't have changed anything. But now you can also play it. Uh, it should be a lovely time. I really enjoyed my time with it. We figured out all the mechanics. Now we are already pretty freaking good at this. And we're going to be beating it solo. That's the plan. And that's what you're watching right now. Let's beat it. Asylum. We picked Zara because we wanted to pick a new character. Never played as her. But we're going to do it right now. Let's go. California, USA. After banishing the goat demon, Azazel, from cult leader Anna Puerta, Molly Jackson was committed to a secret psychiatric a hospital, suffering manic delusions. Here, she was subjected to barbaric, outdated shock treatments that ate away at her body and mind. Slowly remembering the summoning ritual she had seen during her time with the cult, Molly began attempting to raise Azazel once again. As a former cult member and one of Molly's closest friends, you have tracked her down hoping that your worst fears have not been realized. All right. Thank you, Dino Boogies, for extending your subscription through November. Jesus. All right. I think I'm playing on the highest graphics. For extra crisp. All right, hey. We are, we are not going to waste any time. We are going to be fast as a heck, boys. We know exactly what to do. You grab the key over here, and now you can enter the asylum. You can start Molly's, or you can electrocute Molly for the first time. That starts the game, and from that point on, you're collecting rats. Uh, one at a time, each, each rat makes the game more difficult. Uh, there's some setup involved at the start, which I will uh, largely skip over. I uh, will explain what you do. Take over. Go here, by the way. I The first time I played this game, I couldn't find this for the longest time. But yeah, down here is the evil lair of satanic rituals as you have in an asylum of course also molly hi molly how you doing and i put this in might as well prepare some of these so the thing how this game works oh, is you put the fuse in here that enables you to pull this lever uh and you, well, the first one is free. The f I guess the first one doesn't really do anything at all. You just shock her. And then after that, you shock rats for some reason. One by one. So you need to get the rat over here. And you need to then get a fuse. So you need 10 fuses and 10 rats to finish the game. For To catch a rat, you need food. So you need 10 food, 10 fuses, and 10 rats. That's how you beat this game. And we're going to do that right now. Hello. <laughs> Blob, thank you for the 500 bitties. Michelle with the 200 bitties. Robin with the 150 bitties. Thank you, guys. Alrighty. So, uh, this starts the game. We cannot really die at the start. Unless, the only way you can die is if you look at Molly for too long. Now, what we're doing now, what we're going to be doing now for a little bit, probably like 10 minutes, which I will largely skip over, as I said. We're going to be collecting fuses because you need to have these items and collecting them right now. While the game is not that difficult yet, is much, much safer than doing it while Molly is already sprinting around the building trying to murder your butt. So we're going to be uh, optimal. Also key, infirmary. Nice. We're going to be collecting them beforehand. It's a plan. Also wheelchair people. Oopsie. Alrighty. So you have 10 food, which I generally try to put over here, and then 10 fuses, which you need to put over near the uh, the fuse box. That's what that's what the early game looks like. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate you have to do this um, basically before the action starts. So every time you reset, you don't have to do this, but if you're playing solo, then I would say you kind of have to, because on solo, it's just too difficult if you're not 
prepared. Uh, which is kind of doubly hard, because not only is the game much harder solo, it also makes the setup longer, of course, because you're doing- you can only carry one item at a time, whereas if you're with a full team, then you can carry four- then you're set up in, like, a few minutes, and now it takes a little bit longer. But, overall, I've really enjoyed it, so let's hop to the, uh, action, and I'll see you there! Alright, trash can. Yes, and there are rats in this one. Yep. All right, so we did it. We did all the rats. We just, we have every fuse collected. We just kicked the rat bucket, which you need to kick. Uh, the first one you get for free, the second one you actually have to find. There's three around the uh, around the building and you have to kick, and just one of them has rats in it. And we just kicked that one. So now actually the game begins. So we're gonna collect rats. We still need to open a couple doors, but we have most of the keys, so it should be fine. Um, we're going to start collecting the rats now. Let's go. I'm here. So how you do this? Once you start, look. We oh no, is he gonna? You bitch! I didn't know this was actually possible. He's eating my food. Oh, what the fuck, man? Come here, you fuck! What the hell? He's eating my stash. <laughs> He's fucking up my work. Come here, bitch. Come here. Oh, God. You fucking rat. You ate so much. How fat is this rat? This rat ate like four of these. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Luckily, I prepared more than enough, so we still have quite a bit there. Gosh dang it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's so stupid. We're here. Sadly, we're gonna have to say goodbye to Mr. Rat. It is a uh, if you love rats, then I'm sorry, but we sadly have to do this. This is part of the video game. I didn't design this. Okay. So that's the first two. Now the game begins. Now the killer becomes active and tries to murder us sounds extremely close I think she's right above us oh, she's right above us that's so terrifying Jesus Christ she was fast Okay, but she's stunned now, as you can see by the text at the top. Holy fuck, that was not okay. Rat, rat, where are the rats? Come here. Luckily, my fuses can't disappear. I hope there's not gonna be a troll rat again that just eats all my food at the front. That is the downside of doing it this way, that you open up yourself for getting trolled by rats. <laughs> That is the first time that happened, though, in all my play of this. But yeah, uh, what I didn't explain yet is that every time we're gonna do two rats the exact same time. We're going to put in a fuse now, but we're going to leave that rat here because we want to increase it in steps of two. So we basically skip as much difficulty as possible. Uh, we just make the biggest jumps we can. That's our goal. Let's leave this food here. I don't see a rat around that's gonna just chomp on it. Oh, hello. You don't want to be close to her because if you're close to her for too long, she actually just becomes active by herself. And then she kills you. And she also becomes active uh, passively every now and then. Uh, and that's the time between her becoming active by herself. It gets shorter and shorter the further you get into the game. Let's see any rat over here? Rat jam. So this, we're at four now. At six, it starts to really, really become difficult. So we'll have to see. Oh God. See if we can do it. I think the furthest I ever got was nine. Yeah, we're going fast. We gotta go fast, otherwise we get wrecked. Rip. Sorry, rat. I'll look away. Come 
Four. Now she becomes... She already gets red eyes on this level, I think, which is kind of terrifying. So red eyes is what happens when you stun her. She basically gets red eyes for a little bit to prevent change stunning her and being a cheesy little bitch. But it does make the game a lot harder. I don't know where she is. Where the fuck are you? Jesus Christ. I need to run away because she's gonna get- Oh god. Oh god, I hope she gets red eyes for short. Baby, Jesus fuck. This game is intense. Okay. So we stunned her, I think. Hopefully. She does that. That's creepy as fuck. She does the thing where she creeps up on you and then she laughs. Jet, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. That's that's the thing she does. That is not something that Anna does. I like that. But it's also terrifying. Alright. Oh man, I, I am not ready for level 6 yet. Mentally, I mean. Gosh dang. Let's go to the basement. She wants to tell us a joke. Yeah, very nice joke. Oh. <laughs> something kind of funny about the sounds to make. <laughs> Am I just a terrible person? There's a rat here, but I don't have any food. Shit, wait, there's actually no food here. Fuck. I thought there would definitely be food in there. K K D K D G. thank you for the 500 biddies. Fuck, I was expecting there to be food there. Let's grab food. From over, over, up here somewhere. There's gotta be food, right? There you go. Key? No key. I think we already have opened basically every door. Okay, we're going into phase six now, which is gonna get terrifying. The thing that you can't really do in this game, this game the map is just much bigger, so it's much harder to play solo, honestly. The thing you have going for you when you're playing uh, on the farmhouse map is that it's kind of easy to get a hang of where your goats in that map are. You, They don't move too fast, so you can easily keep track of where the last few goats are. And then you can finish the final difficulty level soon. Whereas here, you have to just, like, power through them. It's pretty freaking difficult. Alright, here we go. She's, she's over there. She's gonna become active any moment now. This is a bad... This is a bad spot for her, to be honestly. Gosh dang. Well, we'll have to go. We'll have to do it. She just became active. This is... Should be ideal. Here, come on. Over here. I don't know if this works, this by the way. way. This is pure just placebo effect, I think, that, that worked sometime. So, she can't sneak up on me. She can't come behind me. 
I am kind of willing to just cheese and wait for her Over to here. come here. I can't just go out now. She's like sprinting. Run. Okay, you want to make distance as soon as you stun her once? Because she's... Okay. This could be ideal. The only way she can come is there. There's no rat here. She's not on the same floor as I am. Fucking terrifying. Perfect. She should be stunned, and otherwise, I'm just gonna book it the fuck. Oh god. I think she's stunned. But she's gonna be stunned for like no time at all. So we have to be fast. Don't forget to do this, by the way. You don't want to end up here. <sighs> Sorry. My mom, my mom said something out below it. Okay, she's going to become active super soon. We need to find one fast. Where would the rat be? Where would the... There's still a rat in the treatment room, or around the treatment room. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm not gonna go to treatment room, though. I'm gonna go upstairs, because upstairs is terrifying. If she is... <laughs> rat, 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 come on. Is there a rat here? Please. Fuck. God dang it, she's gonna she's gonna be active like any moment and then we have to stun her. Shit! She's right there, you saw her? Gotta keep our distance. <laughs> she sneak up on me here? Oh, nice. Oh, wait, I stunned her from over there. Bro, that's OP. she can be down here music thank you for the six months thank you there's a rat here okay is there another rat around here as well let's see one more stun and she's she's out so i'm actually gonna check over here is there a rat here no no so we don't have to come back here i have absolutely no clue where the final rats are. 
the fuck? Sorry. Oh, she's still active. Is she gonna come down here? That would be ideal. Because she's stunned now. She should be stunned. Nice. And she's gonna be over there? While I start this. Oh, what the fuck? You can't do that! That's illegal! Alright, here we go. She's so close. Fuck. She was in an ideal spot, and now she's not. I don't know where she is. <laughs> Fuck if he stunned her once. Okay, but that's good though. That's one life down. I don't know if I need two or three. I don't have the food. She's upstairs. You stop running around here. It's Why are you not seeing me? See her? She's running around this fucking upstairs just going round to Rosie, man. I think she has some kind of I think she has like tracking on me, but it. Oh, here. Why? Okay, we're going up. Any rat? Uh oh. I'm so focused, dude. Where's the rat? Is she stunned? I don't know. I'm gonna go down here. She's not. The fuck? Okay. There's no rat back there, we already checked. I don't know where she is. Tess, what's up? Dude, this game's fucked. I don't know where the rats are. Rat. 
There's gotta be a rat up here again. Ideal? I sh should be stunned. Absolutely. I stunned her three times. So, I think the rat is probably upstairs there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plop this one down and just oh, rush the fuck upstairs and pray that she doesn't just activate in my face. She should still be passive for like 30 seconds. Up here. Where's this fucking rat? Okay, she's active. <gasps> Dude! I'm not gonna make this because she's gonna have red eyes now. Give me mid distance. She's not stunned, but we're gonna just fucking do go, man. Let's go. If we may, if we she should get stunned by the the freaking. Fucking wheelchair! I'm fucked. Here we go. Did we do it? Do we save her now? <laughs> I don't think she's fine. <laughs> We're just looking up. Let's fucking go, man. That was so freaking optimal. Well, heckin' played. We did it. Do we get anything? Anything for that? <laughs> or was that just for I think this, these are normal victories. If you get normal victories, you get these. But I already have those because I already won on Farmhouse. But man, that was exciting. When there is still... So that was normal mode solo, though. Which you got it. The, the difference between solo and a full team is like, it's like an entirely different game. It is so much harder to play solo because you have no, you are doing everything by yourself and you have no uh, extra lives because every, if you play with a full team, you can get revived, which you can't do solo. So it is so much harder. So I'm really happy we did that. They're still hard, which we can't beat solo as well. Nightmare solo is impossible. Kind of impossible. You don't. You can't stun any. You can't stun her, and you can't stun any of the wheelchair people on nightmare mode. So if the wheelchair people are in in your way, then you're you just can't go there, and you're just you're just stuck. So you kind of get fucked that way. But man, that was really fun. I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you were as hyped as I was when I beat that. That was actually first try of the day. 
you saw it here. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim every single day at 7 p.m. Central European time. Hope to see you there. This was really fun. Very happy I did that. Very happy. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Have a lovely day. Lovely night. Lovely time. Have a good one. Bye, YouTube.